Good day, Pauhana Ohana. Today we are working on an RV modification that you may be thinking about to do in your RV. Stay tuned. Gary, Stacy, Spirit, and Sophie. We're taking our motor home around the country. Around North America, we're on the road. It's Pauhana Travels. Here we go. Hi everyone, I'm Stacy with Pauhana Travels and welcome to our channel. Today we are tackling this ugly window boxed balance problem that manufacturers put in the newer rigs. Well, even older. I personally, I love the decor that Fleetwood did with our rig. However, I feel it's really blocking our window view. It's very, I would have to say, we're missing a good six inches out of our windows with this boxed balance. So I started a project that the husband didn't know I was going to start, and today we're finishing it. We are taking off these side balances. We're removing this piece right here, which takes another two inches away from our view and we're mounting the day shade and nighttime shade a little bit higher onto the cabinet so we get a bigger view. Yesterday Gary was gone and I got busy and I took off the box on our window over our dining room and it originally had this shade installed on the inside of this box. We took off the shade off the box, rehung it onto the cabinet, and now Gary is going to retrofit the boxed balance up on the wall there. And uh, what have you done here, dear? Well, I've uh, marked out. <coughs> I'm actually going to cut out a section of this. This is just half inch uh, cabinet wood. Decent wood, but... So I've, I've marked out a section through here. And it, I'm going to cut this section out of this piece. And it'll fit right over, or right around the uh, shade mount. So that'll, that'll bring the valance, or whatever it's called, up flush against this. And as tight against the wall as possible. Perfect. And you just threw in some staples. Yeah, I threw in some staples on the fabric. I think it's actually maybe glued down, but I'm not positive. I can't quite tell. But I put some staples in here. I'm just going to flatten those down with a hammer. And then I'm going to take my saw and just cut out the outline section right here. So I started this project yesterday without Gary even knowing I was going to dig into it. I was out shooting guns. So this was a great way uh, because it needs to be taken care of now. So. She but, left it for me to be creative and figure out a way to do it. She couldn't be creative enough, didn't I? I, I did, did go to a great Facebook page, yeah. uh, RV Decor, and I asked a whole bunch of people what they would do. I showed them pictures. And they had no idea. And no, they gave some great suggestions. In fact, what we're doing, several people suggested. So once Gary's done cutting it and we mount it up, we'll come back and give you a final look. You are good. And I can't tell you how much better that already looks. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, so that'll be great. Now I'm just gonna screw it up. Alright. Not screw it up, mount it. Well, well I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's mounted by screws. <laughs> I need to screw it. Alright. Alright. Looks great. 
Now the funny thing with this upgrade, this window here never had the side box balances. So actually now this whole wall is uniform in the same style of presentation. But I, I think that's a huge improvement. It's a much bigger window. It was down, the whole valance thing was down, what, an inch from there? Uh, so before, yes, it was down to about right here. So we lost a good portion of our view. You'd have to be really low, like sitting at the table to really get, appreciate the view. And you can put, you took some photos of before and after, and now we'll take photos of after, and, and then we'll put those side by side to show the difference. I just want to thank you for uh, uh, yeah, taking yeah, care yeah. of the project I started yesterday. That's the second or third time recently that I've done that for you. Sometimes when you want something done, you just got to start it. So if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment. Share what you've done with your rigs mm -hmm. dealing with these uh, valance boxes. I know it's a problem in a lot of different setups. And a lot of different people have different solutions for uh, their own needs. Uh, we don't want to go as far as painting our rig and, and doing that stuff yet. So this is a solution for us now. And if you haven't done so already, and if you haven't done so already, stop it. <laughs> I'm going to get my coffee. And if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you'll know whenever we post a new video Ding. here on Powhana Travels. All right, guys, until next time, Powhana. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Powhana. Powhana.